Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be showing you how to create a custom feed on Blue Sky. So stick around to the end to get all the steps in doing this. So the first thing you want to do is to search for Sky Feed. Our interest will be in the first one which has skyfeed.app, so that you will be searching for that and we'll be clicking on it. And right here we have skyfeed.app and the service we will leave it at bluesky.social, it's in bsky.social but it's bluesky.social and the username will be our username for bluesky. You could use your username or email address. And now we have our email address written and the last point here is the app password. Now you won't be having this, in order to get it we're going to go over to this icon here we're going to click on it and it will open a new tab for us. And right here, because we already have our Blue Sky account, we're going to sign in. We'll put our username and our password. So we've just put in our email address and the password and we're leaving the Blue Sky social hosting provider as is. We're going to click on next and now we're going to be taken to this page and it says use app passwords to log into other Blue Sky clients without giving full access to your account or password. And this is what we want. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, you're going to click on add app password, which is what we're going to do now. And here it has a randomly generated name for this app password. It has light blue, we like it. And so we'll leave it at that. We also have this box unchecked, allow access to your direct messages. We don't want that. So we're going to leave this box unchecked. We're going to click on add app password right now. And now we have the app password, which we're supposed to put in Skyfeed. Of course, we could copy all of this. And then right now we have it copied, but of course you can click on that icon there to copy it. We're going to go back to Skyfeed to paste it there. Now over here in Skyfeed in the previous tab, which we had before, we're going to paste in the new password and continue. Great. And now we're in skyfeed.app and we have access to our Blue Sky social profile. The next thing we're going to do is to look for Feed Builder. Now, if you look on the left side, you can see Feed Builder here and we're going to click on it. And right here, we have create your first feed. We're going to click on it. And this brings a lot of information, but not to worry, we will be going through this together. Now, by default, you have the feed name Hello World. We could change this to something else. So we just changed this to my first custom feed and all of this is under the visual editor. So we have my first custom feed written and now on the reg X, you get to delete this because we don't have any posts, at least in this profile, which we're using for Blue Sky with Hello World. So we're going to delete this because it's going to be looking for Hello World. Now, of course, if you have Hello World in your profile or posted before, you might have that. And this is why you need to customize the feed name and delete the Reg X. Basically, what you're putting in the Reg X is telling Skyfeed to filter looking for that word. So we're going to delete that. And then we're going to go up again under input. You have entire network. We're going to click on the drop down menu and click on single user. You have the user DID. You don't need to worry about this. All you need to do is to click on select yourself and this generates your user ID. And then after all of this is checked, of course, you can go ahead and do other things if you want to. But with this, you can go ahead and click on publish feed. Now, in this new pop up box, you get to put in some other details. For example, you can upload an avatar image, put in a description, and then down here you have a license. When we click on the drop down, you have three options. Here you have MIT, which allows everything. Then you have the default, which allow remixes with the same license. And then you have the no license, which means that you're keeping all the rights for your post. Basically, you're setting to say if you want others to make remixes of your posts. So we can leave it at this and then click on publish. And now after that, you have the option to make some other edits here if you want. And then you can update the feed with this button after you've made any necessary changes. Assuming that this is what you want, you now have the published link to what we published. We're going to click on it and this will take us to our Blue Sky app. But this time it's on a custom feed. As you can see, my first custom feed. You can decide to pin this to home. And you also have the three dots here where you can save to my feed or share this feed. So these are the steps to follow if you would like to create a custom feed on Blue Sky.